Uh, hey, what's happening? Uh, my name is Tyler Hollinger. Um, this is Festival Cafe on the Upper East Side of New York City on 61st and 2nd Avenue. I'm applying for the Barstool Fund because frankly it's our last and final alternative. I just found out today that the PPP funding that the government <clears throat> has put in for the second round of financing we can't apply for because we weren't open in 2019. We're probably the newest company, small business, that is applying as part of the fund. We've only been open for four months. In fact, we opened in the pandemic. We opened September 1st of this year and we have pivoted so many times. We can't even keep straight anymore from building an entire outside sidewalk seating area that the Department of Transportation told us we had to take down to purchasing dozens of propane heaters that the fire department then threatened to fine us $25,000 for, for having on the sidewalk. I've been in the media and the news pretty much monthly uh, since the beginning, raising awareness and speaking out about this. I've been on Tucker Carlson, I've been on Varney, I've been on Fox 5, I've been on Good Day New York, and I haven't stopped fighting. Um, unfortunately, we are down to a bare bones minimum staff right now with the recent closing of Inside Dining in New York City. It's just pretty much me and a handful of other employees. I've been working 70 hour weeks now and I pretty much do everything as the owner of the cafe here from waitering to bartending to dishwashing to cooking to jumping in when people are sick or ill or they can't come to work. Um, and it's really, you know, taken a toll on me, myself, um, both financially and personally, I've invested my life savings into this business and uh, these regulations in New York City have just crippled us even further. Um, and uh, I'm expecting my first child this week, um, which puts a lot into perspective. As part of the neighborhood, we are pretty much the only good option in this area. We created the term farm to bar, which means finding locally sourced, hyper seasonal whole ingredients and bringing that not only into our food program, but into our beverage program. We're big on health awareness. We're big on community. And we have a neighborhood of individuals that have supported us thus far, which is the whole reason why we're still alive. It's the whole reason why I'm making this video is because the community around us has been so incredible. Just the people who live in these five blocks, they're the ones that come in day in and day out just to get a cup of coffee to support, just to get a croissant to support. I'll give you a little tour, show you around. So after they shut down the dining, we put together these custom private heated dining cabanas. You can see this right behind me. This is actually, we're on the sidewalk right now. So despite the Department of Buildings mandates and restrictions, we decided to build these structures anyway. And you can see the other one right here I created uh, what we call the dining chalet, which is a uh, more of like an upscale version of the cabanas that I just showed you. It's a private, it's heated. We spent all this money on heaters, as you can see, the New York City winter. I mean, it doesn't get any better than this. Have your own private heated dining chalet on the streets of New York City. It's, is kind of cool. Um, we spent a lot of money putting that together only to have the governor of New York just shut down inside dining, which, you know, we won't be here if we don't get some support for the next three months, which is really what we're looking for. As you can see, I'm right here on 61st and 2nd Avenue. This is Festival's private dining cabanas right behind me. Essentially, we're operating a restaurant with just three tables right now, and we need a lot of help. So, I'm hoping that, I'm hoping that, you know, 
Barstool can step up and we can be the, uh, the youngest member of the Barstool Fund with a business that's only been in business for about four months. My name is Tyler Hollinger and I hope you consider our application.